Hi there everyone, my name is Dominic and welcome to Lost in Random. This game caught my attention because it appears to be a dice rolling gothic fantasy experience that is live action, not live action, is I should say real time exploration with like a dice rolling card deck building component which kind of intrigues me and the whole style of it I've seen compared after looking up the trailer for it to Tim Burton style a lot um, but I don't think that's totally accurate it feels a little bit more like something that Leica Studios might make they're the ones who made Coraline um, this one especially felt very much like their box trolls movie for anyone else who's seen that like that kind of just you know kind of slightly you know dark but stylish and cool looking um and with a very like high detail handcrafted sort of perfectly imperfect kind of tone to it that i absolutely love so anyway let's go and jump into it i kind of if this is as cool as it seems from the trailer that i saw of it i kind of want to play the whole game so yeah let's go ahead yeah new game it just looked interesting it looked unique it looked like a little bit not really the look of it oh Excuse us. In a land you might remember from your dreams, the power of randomness was celebrated by all. Those with dice would roll them to shape their destinies, and the bravest few would challenge each other in games of chance, epic tournaments, in which their very lives would hang in the balance. Oh my god, I love it already. That's like... <laughs> Get the dice energy. Okay, we're, we're hopping right in here. I love that. Oh yeah, shit. Oh shit! Okay. Do I have attack buttons? Okay, X is. Oh, I see. Okay. Ow. Okay. Okay, so I do have a pretty fast attack. Okay. All right. I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, I can throw things. How? How do I throw it? Alright, hold on. This is gonna take me a second to get... Oh, did I get a new weapon? What? I... Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing. But I think I'm doing a great job at it. Shit. Ow. Ow. Okay. Do I have like a roll or dodge option? I'm assuming I should have to defeat all these little... These little buggers to get out of my way. There we go. Okay. Watch out. No. no. Dice wielders, and like all eras, it too would come to an end, fading into legend and mystery. I'm not sure what's going on, but I am very intrigued. A fort town used to be a majestic place of heroes and nobility until the queen burned it to the ground in search for a dangerous, you say, a dangerous fugitive. Our story begins later in Wancroft, a small village populated entirely by people who have never once been dealt a fair hand. Attention, Warners! I am the Queen, and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! See that, Bernard? You're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the Queen's Dream Palace for the rest of my... Ugh. Nuh-uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating. Well, so is having an almighty dice, snake eye. <coughs> Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. We should really get going. It's just a game, sis. 
Even I promised Mom and Dad to get you home. The Queen! It's the Queen! <laughs> hey! Was that really necessary? Come on, hurry up! Now we really have to run! God, this looks awesome. Holy shit. I God, I love stylized shit. The people don't yearn for hyper-realism all the time. The people yearn for creative, interesting, artistically styled experiences. All right, what's happening? Wait. Stay behind me, sis. We've got to run home and hide. Now. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, follow Odd. All right. Oh. Ooh, the music, too. Ah! Not that way. Not that way. The lighting and everything. I know I'm supposed to be horrified because we're running from these awful creatures, but damn, this shit looks good. And I didn't hear a thing about this. This came out of like, uh, I don't know, a couple years ago, I'm pretty sure, and I didn't hear a peep about it. Which is a shame, because it looks awesome. Well, shit. Oh. I've got like a, doing got like a little pea shooter. The Which button? Oh, 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 uh, okay. No there we go, there we go, got it. Oh. Incredible. Cool, cool environmental kind of stuff. <laughs> Come on, let the crane shoot the button. Where? Which button? Yeah, the music is awesome. Random rules. Random rules. Am I supposed to be hiding? Kuna works for the queen, kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping? And so the queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of twelve would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true die. Which would reveal to them their place in the world of random. Check out this secret portal. Bring me all of the children. Uh, it's uh, an old crow's face. It works for us. <laughs> nice work, Bernie. Let's go. All the queen's wisdom is as wise. All right. I guess we don't want to get caught by the nanny. Which makes it. Very Which I guess makes sense if they said she's kidnapping children, and we are a children. Since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to their new villages, ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. Joy that the Queen's plan for us is so grand. Joy that her one true dies has day. I don't want to say much of anything because I don't want to interrupt because I'm just like, I'm soaking in the atmosphere right now. I'll have plenty more to say as the game progresses when we get into the mechanics and all of that, but this is just so cool. Oh, look at that. God, it's again, like, it reminds me of Little Nightmares, not because stylistically it's really that similar, like, other than being kind of a spooky, kind of dark game, but, like, just seeing a game with such a clear artistic vision, I fucking love it. I love it, love it, love it. Even odd. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Quick, get down. Happy birthday. Oh, even. And I got a present for you. It's so cute. Make a wish. <sighs> ah! <laughs> Really, on your birthday? Surprise, surprise! Your your birthday present is kidnapping. <laughs> and the queen said, every child of 12 years shall throw this supreme dice, and so it was. For random is fair, random prevails, and random rules. Random rules! Be grateful, child, that the queen herself is here for your special day. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. the queen is awesome looking. It reminds me of the um, uh, the twin sisters from Kubo and the Two Strings, which is one of my favorite films. I absolutely adore that film. But the sisters, like the two villains, they're so cool. Now roll 
the dice, and let's see what kind of person you truly are. Well, shit. Your whole life is just decided by what the dice do? Oh. Well, that's good fortune. <laughs> been settled. At least, she'll be a sixer. You said my work here is done. Stop it. And so, Fod's destiny came to be living by the side of the queen up in the sixer's palace. Well, it was said, all dreams came true, but Even's nightmare was just beginning. I love it. It's such a good intro. Like, it's just, it's throwing us into it in such a cool way. I love the cushions that look like big buttons. All right, let's see. Hold to sprint. Okay, cool, cool, cool. This is so good. I'm so excited now. Like, it's funny because the controls feel. A, oh, where are you? Here, we'll talk later. I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> I'm coming for you, sis. Sorry, didn't know y'all ladies were having a meeting. <laughs> it's funny too, I think a lot of storytelling people like to worry about like, well, what if people are confused and don't understand everything? It's like, that's fine. That's what you have, that's what the story is for, to fill us in on what's happening. I'm not really sure what's happening. Like, since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. Even knew she was now awake and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But something seemed off. Something seemed different. Or was it simply that she had changed? This is gorgeous. Yeah, why didn't I hear about this when it came out? Like, like from anyone, really, even though it's like so, so pretty. Like even the, the style of the art on the walls is gorgeous. Of Uncle Jinx. It was said he'd sailed the seven seas and then drowned in the eighth. Well, at least he uncovered the eighth sea. Good for him. A painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single musical instrument in Wancroft, which was impressive, but none of them well, which was markedly less impressive. <laughs> An image of great, great, great grandmother Waters. She was the woman who'd invented sliced bread, which made everyone very excited. Wow, that's a legend. Just taking great big bites out of loaves. Wow, what a legend thing of the slicing. An image of great, great grandfather Peters. Two hundred years ago, he ate all his clothing to win a bet, even supposed. That was the reason this portrait stopped at the neckline. <laughs> Even's mother had always painted, and she'd share with Even the stories she'd hidden in her paintings. Wonderful tales of daring heroines and dashing adventure. She told her never to share these stories with the outside world. These stories might upset the queen. She had eyes and ears everywhere. Interesting. All right. What? What do you got to show me here? Shoes. 
little parts of her life still dotted their house. It didn't make it a happy house, but that was fine by Ethan. She never wanted to forget her sister. All right, give me one sec. I'm going to adjust the graphics a little bit. It's running like the frame rate rate keeps dipping. I think because like the lighting effects and everything, they look great, but I think that's what's bringing it down slightly. So just adjust that really fast. Okay, there we go. Now let's look around. Let's see. These paintings showed stories Evan's mother told her was safe to share because they were true. Well, so she said, like the story of the card makers of Five Town who'd suffered a horrible fate. Evan's father never told her stories. He preferred reality to fantasy. The physicality of hammers and nails to the ephemeral mists of dreams and fantasy. Oh, it was still very late. Or was it very early? And even didn't want to wake her parents. Yeah, fair enough. They've been through enough. But they also just kind of like let their other kid get kidnapped, but I guess they don't have a lot of choice in this very uh, totalitarian, authoritarian kind of environment. The scariest painting Evan's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious figure who'd gobble up children who ventured too far from home. Evan was too old to believe in such stories. Or at least. Oh, sorry, I wasn't trying to cut you off, narrator guy. Game, you gotta warn me before I'm gonna wander into a cutscene. Even stared at the toy, feeling the ground tilt beneath her. That was the exact same stuffed animal she'd given Odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. She had to know. Oh, I guess we're on our way out then. Okay. It had an option to go to the front door, but I'm assuming it would have been locked or something. So, all right, that's fine. Like, is there any... Yeah, I got our slingshot. All right, that's cool. We don't have a jump option, do we? No, I guess not. Not really the game uh, or the kind of game where you're going to be jumping up and down and exploring things. The figure seemed to keep its distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her somewhere. Interesting. Who are you? Oof. He's there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Um, oh, I get dialogue options. Interesting. I... Uh, I'm on the trail of... I don't know what it is, but I know it's important. Oh, darling. You're thinking about your sister, aren't you? I feel you, child. I do. But she's been gone now a year. Um, you're wasting my time. Move. Let's be nice. She's being nice. Say please. Ah, that spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me, deal? Yeah, for sure. You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. What if, like, something terrible is going to happen to Astrid just because she is nice to us? All right. Stay away from the outskirts. You got it. Going to go straight there. All right. I do like that we were like, oh, yeah, the shadow man who kidnaps children who wander too far. Well, time to go wandering too far. Wait up, please. Wait up. This was Onecroft, the world in which even and her small family lived. Like all Warners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The Queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her, and that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except even. 
I mean, if randomness is sort of the guiding force, then I guess you would just like randomly have construction projects. You would randomly be decreed to build things or, you know, have new things happen in the city, new construction made, new rules applied. Like if everything's truly random and that kind of makes sense, why everything's just stacked around each other. Also, what's the big eyeball thing? Is that like the the eye of the queen keeping an eye on everything? I'm assuming. Oh, just hit it. It's right there. He's truck. What are you doing here anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Um, yes. Aw, that's so great. I know after Autumn had to leave, they've been more protective of you, and it's just so great to have you here to play, even. At least you're new. These two idiots are getting on my nerves. Hey, Lucky, that's mean. Aw, shucks. I know I'm not the smartest, but... I try real hard. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Wow. Sensitive much? You guys are so touchy. Okay, you seem like a fun group. Um, yeah, what are you all doing out here? Yeah, it's late. Yeah, why are you all out so late? More I curious about sleep. that. My 12th birthday is coming up. Mine too. Gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. I'll be saying bye to all you bloobs and hi to the riches of Sixtopia. I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. <laughs> My mom says so. I'll get bloob, you, you can, get it. Uh, what's a bloob? You getting a load of these bloobs even? Love some good bloobs. Uh, yeah, Lucky, don't be a jerk. You seem kind of like you're being kind of a dickhead for no reason. Listen, even it takes two to be a jerk. It does not. The jerk. And the other to be an even bigger jerk by pointing it out. That's exactly what a jerk would say. All right, uh, my sister became a sixer, and I don't think it worked out. Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? How come? Because my name is Lucky, and he meant how come he even thinks it didn't work out, Lucky? Yeah. Let's see, I think she might be sending me a message from Sixtopia somehow. Uh, yeah, let's tell him what's up. Yeah, right. Like a sixer would ever care about a one -er. Please. It could happen. You don't know. I think it sounds mysterious. I love mysteries. Yeah, thank you, Bernard. Oh, mystery, even. See you later. Thank you, Bernard. See, Bernard, you're a real one. And you're a little bit weird, too. But uh, lucky, you're the worst. I hope you fall into this terrible bog that we live over. Um, All right. What is there to explore here? What's this? Can we hit these? I'm assuming. Whoa! Ah! Uh. Even I knew you could do it. Lucky shot. I'm not impressed. I could do that too if I wanted. No All right, look. Lucky, hold You're still. Amazing, even. Hey, shut up. Here, here. Because you're being a dickhead. Here, let's see. Right in front of your big noggin. Oh, I would really hope that you would have reacted to that. All right, what's down here? I'm not sure where to explore first. It's like the correct spot, but I'm assuming we'll have a little bit of time in this town to explore and then go from there. Uh, there's little pots everywhere. I don't know what we're going to be buying with these, but I figure we'll need them. So, all right, let's see. And hopefully there's not like a wrong order to do the exploration in because I would hate to miss stuff, but all right. I like the sound effects. There's just like creaking sounds all the time because you know stuff is just like it's everything's built so it's such a shoddy way that it's just all just kind of bending and moving around what the fuck top hat fish man i will check in with you in a second okay okay i guess that's about it so you can just go down into the sewers to get some extra coins i guess so all right all right it seems like it's going to be actually pretty linear the way it's laid out uh we have a journal and we have a map oh not that button Ah, okay, got it, got it. Even the like this style is so cool. Like, I love when you see stuff that's clearly made by like really talented artists because nothing feels left to chance, you know? Like nothing feels like a throwaway. Like, I'll just give it like a really, really basic map design. It's like, no, let's make it cool, let's make it interesting, let's stylize it to match the tone of the game. I just fucking love that shit. Even like the fact that they're um the facial animation is not synchronized to the dialogue. It's kind of fine. Like, I can live with that. I can live with so many graphical caveats if it's just a cool idea, if it's a cool story, you know? All right, what's up? What are you two? 
Are you not my parents? Oh, dude, does everyone look the same? Does everyone look like they auditioned for the Beatles and did not get it? <laughs> What's up? You seem like you're looking for something, kid. <laughs> Just tell me, Greta Bogpot. A ghost thinks my sister. Um, might be my sister. Um, I think it might be my sister. Let's say I think it knows my sister. I think maybe it's like a messenger come to get us. Ah, I thought I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Uh huh. Big role a year ago, if I recall. Yeah. She's in the queen's care now, kiddo. There's nothing any of us can do. Uh, that's what you think. Let's not be antagonistic to anyone except Lucky, who's a bitch. Everyone else seems pretty nice, but she needs my help. And I think you should give up on her, even. Never mind, Greta. Greta fuck you. Now. Nobody ever comes back from that. Well, I was gonna give you the benefit of the doubt, and then you were like, just give up, you failure. Okay, Greta, all right. I'll see you again if I need a fish stew sometime. What are y'all talking about? Mmm, yes, very interesting. Thrilling stuff. All right, can I, can I not get over here yet? Did I? I'm assuming it'll let me circle around to this, but if I shoot it from there, do I get the coins? I do, okay. That's good. I appreciate a game that just lets you have the coins, like... Games that require you to physically go over there, I think, are kind of a pain in the ass. Okay. Can I go in here? No. Let me check the map. Let me make sure. Like, can I? Over there. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I can't stray off the beaten path too far at this point, so... Okay. Like those paths over there. Maybe I'm not supposed to go over there yet. Maybe it's just a matter of, like, um... Like, letting me see it so that way I can shoot the little thing and get some extra coins. So, alright, let's go over here. Oh yeah, there's the ghost, so we're on the right track. We know we're kind of heading in the right direction because of that. You saw it, didn't you? There it was again. <coughs> I also love a game with a narrator. Like, I think it's just, I don't know, it's an underutilized thing in fantasy storytelling. It's just, at least nowadays. None shall enter the docks tonight by order of Her Majesty. Shush. Random rules. I mean, all right. What if I'm really nice about it? Here, little girl. Ah, uh, can you just let me into the harbor? I'm just a harmless little girl. That's only more reason not to let a child in here. Oh, I damn it, Archie! Could walk you home myself if I wasn't so busy guarding this area, as you can see. It's a I, very important job. It now, is. Come on, little girl, you shouldn't be here. Can I bribe you? Uh, the, the loading of junk. Onto boats. Clearly, all day long and all year long and all life long, there's only one thing that happens here. Junk gets loaded onto boats. Uh, nothing else? Yeah, where does the junk go? What does the queen get out of this? What happens to it next? What would anyone want with our junk? Yeah, what happens to it next? Why? What? What's the reason? Sorry, that's classified. And Archie. Very royal. Archie, you gotta loosen up. Come on. Ah! The very idea that the queen would not share her ultimate secrets with me, a random one or security guard. No, 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 no. No, I assure you, I definitely know all the good stuff. I'm uh, just not willing to share them. <laughs> you can tell me I'm just a little girl. Nobody will believe me. Ha, ah, that may well be true, but that doesn't mean I should untrust the Queen's state secrets, which I assure you I'm definitely privy to, with you. Now run along home, it's past your bedtime. Okay, but could I bribe you and or kill you to be able to get through? Because I'm really curious now, I really would like to know. I'll look around, uh, oh, there's a way down there, that's interesting. Let's now see. run along, little girl. You no, that's it. Be here. Okay, boss. I'll run along. Hehehe. <laughs> you suck as a guard. Didn't think I could climb, did ya? Give me that. Okay. That's funny. I also feel like I've been craving a game that's not that mechanically demanding, like right now. Like, this is nice just getting to explore and break open these pots and meet lots of weird characters. Like, I think that's the thing. People who only play one style of game, like, that, that always weirds me out a little bit. There's nothing wrong with it, but, like, I'm like, it's like if you, like, met someone and they were like, oh, I only watch horror films. I only exclusively watch this one type of content. And it's like, okay, but, like, there's so much you could be enjoying, though. And why, why would you not want to? 
that's how I feel about this, where it's like, it's really fun playing a game that is much more about the story and environment. And the environment's cool enough to justify it. Um, all right, I guess you're not going to be of any help to me, so let's go this way. Hmm? Yeah, find the ghost, okay. Well, I'm on the right track. Oh, oh, give me that shit. I'm breaking all your pots. I break this little one just because. No. Whatever that spirit wanted, it seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? Who the fuck is that? All right, here, I'll go visit the big bad wolf in a second. But here first, money! And then more people just chit-chatting over here. So, yeah, who are you? Rules, even random rules. Mangvile Mudwater. Wow. Tell me, tell me, Mangville. Oh, well, look at you. Now tell me, you sleazy bastard. Um, what, yeah, what about me? So far from home and all alone. You're lucky the Queen is looking out for you, child. You've heard the good news, haven't you? Uh, no, I haven't. Go ahead and enlighten me. The Queen is a force of nature, like gravity or death. Or taxes. You can't argue with gravity. You don't debate death. You just go along with her, because you know a rule is law. Yeah, maybe you do. She is eternal. <laughs> I'd argue with gravity, all right? Watch me just float right in front of you to prove you wrong, all right? Take that, gravity. Um, yeah, and that's good news? What the fuck is wrong with you? She's never wrong. She makes the rules. Random rules. And they're always right. It's incredible to live at the same time as such a wondrous being. I hope one day she notices me. Up riding a shining spider stallion. Notices my love for her. Notices my worship. Oh my god, we got a simp here in the slums for the queen. I mean, I get it. She's very cool looking, but dude, come on, come on. All right, have you seen your creepy ass self? All right, I really do. Yeah, you really love the queen. Let's delve into that. More than life. I just want to be her, to be with her, I mean, to feel her hand on my head and know she judged me and found me good. It would completely destroy me. I'd love every minute of it. <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay, I'm going to leave you to your, um... You're pondering. Um, all right, the ghost is over there. Others seem to have been broken by her in one way or another. <laughs> it was home. The only home even had ever known. They go in the little tea house. No? Ah, bummer. All right. I know it wants me to follow the ghost, but I'm having fun looking around. This place is really cool. I like the scale of everything, that everything is different and, like, stitched together and just, just weird. Just weird. In a good way. In a lovely way. In a way that I absolutely adore. Alright. There's the ghost. Come along. Excuse me. Where's my sister? Basically you bastard. I must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. Tell me, Ben so forgot. Two-sided. You ever wonder what life's like in the other zone? Of course, yes. Oh, of course they're all named that. I don't know what I expected. Five Tropolis, Forberg, like in three down. What do I want to ask about? Let's ask about. Let's just say why. I wasn't born here, you know. I was born in Forberg. <laughs> Only I turned 12 and the Queen came and made me rule. Oh, that's how it works. So one, she told me I was born in the wrong town and now I'm here. And I'll never get back there again. That's interesting. I assumed everyone kind of started at one when they were, and then like kind of like had a chance to work their way up. That makes sense. You're like born anywhere and you can go up or down in society just based on the dice rolls. So, ah, uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I'll just be sorry because that sucks, dude. That's just the way things are. In a way, she saved me from the misery of Forberg. 
It's not what it used to be. It doesn't have to be equal to be fair. It's what my mom always used to say. Before she... Before I... Well... It's, uh... Ancient history now. The Queen works in mysterious ways, and it's up to us to follow her rules. Random rules. I still remember how I felt rolling that dice, knowing what was about to happen. And when it landed on one... Gosh. <sighs> I don't think it's the sort of thing I'll ever forget. Yeah, yeah, that's very nice. Sorry about your troubles. Have you seen any ghosts around? By the dice, I'm haunted enough already. I don't need more of them. That's not what I asked. I do. All right. Useless. Useless. All right. What about up here? All right. Let's see. I do like that. I'm like, yeah, they give you like the little checkpoint so you know you're moving on to a different section of the map. So anything over here? Now will it let us explore this way? I don't know what the coins are going to be used for, but I'm assuming something important, so I don't want to miss it. This just, this just let me jump down. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's see. Okay, but what about, aha, there you are. Give me that shit. Anything else? Uh, all right, I think we're good. Oh, I hear whispering. You know what's funny too is downloading this. Like this whole game was only like oh. yet. Oh. Even knew that her fate was changing, that her future was suddenly filled with unknowns. And she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time. That's right. We're going on an adventure, everyone. Um, this whole game to download was like eight gigabytes, which is crazy. Like, that's another thing, too, when things don't have to be hyper realistic, then it frees things up. Um, I didn't notice. I like the, the branches coming out of the ground look like hands. That's a nice touch. Um, but it frees up the game to not also be as dense in terms of like the amount of space it takes. Because, again, everything can look kind of like this. Like, it can look textured and doesn't have to have aggressive... Oh, what the fuck was that? Was there a giant frog peeping on us over there? Like, is that someone that will come back around later? Or is that just set dressing telling us that that's just... There's giant frogs out there. Don't go wandering, kids. The giant frogs will eat you. Yeah, you should have fucking rolled better if you didn't want to live in the fucking slums now. Oh, we're still playing. I thought it was a cutscene. Excuse me. So I haven't played it before, but I know it's popular is um, there's that game Alice. It's like Alice Madness Returns or something like that. That's another like dark gothic kind of game. I think it came out a while ago, like when it like the Xbox 360 was around like many, many years ago, but this kind of reminds me of that. I remember seeing people talk about that as a really cool gothic kind of game. Finding the, the little pyramid thing. It's the thing from Yu-Gi-Oh. It's a card game. Yugi's in there. Yeah, it is. I knew it. I summon Pot of Greed to get two additional cards from my deck. And this is our little Geppetto. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. And guess what's inside it? Reward. Mysterious playing cards. These playing cards are beautifully painted and in some angles they seem to glow a faint blue. They are very, very pretty. I like them a lot. Oh, Pips. Some curious little Pip creatures on two legs hopping around in a glass jar. I love the Pips. I will protect them with my life. Um, where did I just come from? Right. Even could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was Ooh. beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her. A... 
the harbor. Oh, all we had to do was go around this way to get to the harbor. Man, not so difficult at all. No time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before. Or she was getting on that boat. She felt a pull beckoning towards something. What does that do? Oh, lovely. Ooh, stunning. I'm assuming that's a bad guy. Uh, or maybe I can talk my way out of things. I don't know. Hello, what are you doing here? Those are some nice cards you have there, kiddo. <laughs> you find them yourself. Leave me alone! <laughs> Stranger danger. Mace him in the eyeballs. Um, yes, I don't know much about them, though. He's weird, but maybe he'll help us understand what we're doing. Well, Zach, let me take a look. He says, oh, let me, let me touch them cards of yours. Something you haven't. He says, oh, just, let me just want to touch them cards a little bit. Oh, I love the cards. Um, I don't know if I want to give them to you. That's just my trauma. I once had, I used to be play Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, and I went to a local library that had like a card game hangout thing. And it wasn't one of the people who was one of the regulars. It was some acquaintance of his who showed up. And he was like, oh, can I look through your deck? And I, and I had this whole magician deck. And he stole my best card, whatever it was like the warlock magician or whatever the fuck it was. And I got through the deck later and I realized he had rifled through my cards. And while his buddy was talking to me, I don't think his friend realized that's what was happening because um, I had never had an issue with him before. Um, but like while I was busy talking and being far too trusting, he, he stole it. And I still am resentful. I really hope bad luck on him as a human being. Not gonna lie. I hope he never succeeds in life because that was such an underhanded thing to do. And I was already so poor and I was a teenager and I was like, that was my pride and joy was my Yu-Gi-Oh collection. So wherever you are out in the world, fuck you. All right. I'm, I'm I'm doing great in life. And I hope you're not. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, yeah, you know what? Sure. Tell me. Tell me what's white. Well, look at these. Oh, these used to be everywhere. You know that? Oh, folks had trade them on the regular. Used to have quite a collection myself. I got, I got them straight from the factories in five tropolis where they made them, you know. Mint in books. Of course. It was before the war. A lot changed that night. We're still dealing with the consequences. Uh, yeah, tell me about the consequences. I'll have time to learn more about Five Tropolis. Yeah, look around you, Missy. This ain't what things used to be. This ain't what things are supposed to be, either. The Queen, she distorted it all. Turned us from good, honest folks into, uh, into whatever this is now. Only most don't remember it. Only me, it feels like sometime. Oh, damn. I feel kind of bad for you, actually. Like, you seem like a weirdo, but maybe it's just because he's one of the few that remembers when life was, like, good. So that's why he's an outcast. Um... Right, what does the map say? Okay. Oh, this is so cool. God, just the map alone. I love seeing the new areas like expand. Like, it's so cool. I'm fucking loving this so far. Like, I'm assuming not going into the big bright red lights is the main thing. Um, what's up here though? Like, which way should I go first? Let's see. Okay. Uh, oh, there's stuff up here. Give me that. No, no, here, here, smash the thing. Come on. There we go. Uh, okay, there's a little bridge across here. Ooh. All right, what does this do? Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, it connects that. Okay. Do I need to go down on the ground for any reason? I'm not sure if I do or not. Like... There seems to be some stuff on the ground, but I don't know if there's anything. It seems like most of it I can shoot from here and not get in trouble. All right. Yeah, you go across. Let me over. There we go. And then can I shoot this again to move it one more time. And yeah, now move it over here. Yes. Aha. <laughs> okay. Okay. What is this? Do I got like an iPad. For all my hard work. Reward a storybook page, an illustrated page from an old forbidden storybook. 
collect and read them in Evans Binder. Oh, cool. Ooh, pretty. Oh, cool. We get like storybook concept art. This is gorgeous. What the fuck? Oh, my long God. Time ago in random, dice were everywhere and used to decide everything. Wondering what to wear, what to create, who to become. Any question, as long as it could be answered with a number, could be found by the spark of magic contained within the dice. And the king and queen of random were, well, decent to good. Life was wild. Life was free. Life was random. Cool. Yeah, let, let's go through the stories, all right? These are really cool. And I want to see all the art. Oh, that's the only one we have. Oh, okay. So we only get, there's 10 storybook pages in the game for us to find. Oh, cool. Hell fucking yeah. That's funny too, because sometimes I feel like these kind of games don't exist anymore. But now I feel like, I'm like, man, is it just that these games don't, it's not even, I'm like, I feel like people would love these games, but I feel like the main issue is that they don't always get the amount of promotion they deserve, you know? Like, I feel like, I feel like you guys are going to love watching this. I feel like, like my audience that I have here, this I think is right up most of our alleys, you know, kind of knowing, you know, if you like my work and kind of the stuff that I find appealing, then this probably is going to be in that same kind of ballpark, right? Like. Okay, now we can get down. Oh, dokie. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I see. So that's how we get across. I, I I couldn't just... Oh, I see. We had to do that to get the storybook page, even though we could have just walked through. Got it, got it. Oh, there's another one. Goody, goody, goody. Hold on. I can get across there, but how... Oh, 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 oh. Is there a way for me to get across? Oh, 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 oh. I can go across this way. I'll make sure I don't miss an opportunity, yeah, to get these book pages. I really want to see the uh, the art that is in them. Cool, cool. Nice. Yeah, let's read it. Every time I get one of these, I'm going to take a second to, to let it be read, because it's cool. When they were ready, or when they were brave enough, the most courageous and random would embark on a great adventure making their way to the Valley of the Dice. There, in that sacred place, they would choose the dice that they would carry with them for the rest of their lives. Although, some would whisper that the choice wasn't fully theirs to make. Oh, where are more Stormic pages? I want to know. All right. Whee! All right, now let's get back across and not get caught. I don't know what happens if we get caught by the big red laser beam, but I'm assuming it's not very good. Um, okay. There we go. Ah, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Give me. I'm assuming we'll use the currency to buy new cards. Feels like the main thing this game would want us to do. Uh, there we go. Also, well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I want puzzles and games to be like this, where... They're just fun environmental things that don't make me rack my brain too much. Like, maybe just because I'm getting older, I'm getting lazy, but I'm like, I just want to explore. I don't want to be bogged down with a puzzle that I sit there for 30 minutes getting frustrated by. Cool. Yeah, sneak past the red lights. No problem. Like, it's nothing. Let me down. Stowaway. Oh, we're going to get on the boat to be able to go to tu Tuopolis or whatever it's called. To Tuberg. I don't know. Okay, let's see. But, uh, that's not a way in. All right. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ah, uh -huh. You don't get to come here. This is my reserve spot. You get your <laughs> Who was <is> that, buddy? <laughs> I love the cast of characters so far, honestly. They're very funny. All right. Is there any way to get across here? It doesn't look like it. I'm like, is there anything over there I can get to? No, no, it looks like it's meant to close this part in intentionally. Um, oh, cool art. Reminds me a little bit of getting on the giant ship in uh, Little Nightmares in the first one. 
when you kind of realize the scale of where you are. All right, yeah, let's go. Herman, come on. Why are you being a problem? Uh, who are you and why are you stowing away? Please let me in. I'm trying to hide. Let's ask him who he is. Let's come on. Let's connect a little bit. Who am I? Who are you barging in here demanding who I am? That's fair. I am a friend. Seems to me like a friend would be more polite. I'm trying. Leave. At a Herman. Tidy hole. My little stowaway chamber. My realm of adlubescence that <laughs> you're not invited in. It's my ticket out of this muddy... <coughs> Ambulescence? What's ambulescence? Means something that's delightful. Like my room here. I, I. Wow. You really are just a kid, huh? Yeah, I'm just little. Well, well, guess what? I myself was a kid once. Kid Herman. And now I'm adult Herman, and I'm getting out of here. Now go find your own spot. But there are no other spots. Yeah, where do you want to go, all right? Do I have to wait here all day? You have to wait here until you're old Herman and then dead Herman? There are no... Oh, come on. There's got to be other spots. Go find them. Oh, we're on the back of the giant eyeball thing. Oh, is... The, oh, the giant eyeball things are like the transports. Oh, that's weird. They're like a big snail with a ship on its back. That's cool. Uh, please, Herman. My sister's in trouble. I have to get on board this boat. Please, Herman, please. It's oh, a crisis. Uh, fine. Fine. You little... Little guilt tripper. I'll let you in. Yay! Wahoo! Oh, but before I do, we got ourselves some house rules. One, be quiet. Okay. Two, don't touch <laughs> anything. And three, be quiet and don't touch anything. Okay. Can I give you a hug? Sweet, and now we're kind of on our way, aren't we? Thanks for letting me in, Herman. Make me regret this, kid. I'm stowing away on a quest, see? And if the crew here gets wind of it, both our gooses will be cooked. So just sit here all quiet-like and don't do anything. I'm on a quest, too. My sister was kidnapped a year ago. Uh, I happen to be an expert in not being caught. Let's, again, let's not be antagonistic to the ones who are helping us. Shh, shh quiet, kid. I can't believe it. You're already breaking rules one and three. Oh, so just you're allowed to say, yeah, you start talking to me. Yeah, look, I'm gonna tell you what. Just hide between those boxes and don't make any noise. All right. You wanna know about me? Here's a deal. I'm off to find me son, see? I made it for the card maker district, uh, five tropolis, or whatever the queen's calling it these days. And. Um, I'm off to find my sister. Did I go show you the way? Tell me about Five Tropolis. You feel like you might know a little bit more about the places we're going. Quiet, kid, or you'll ruin the whole thing. Just, just, just go to sleep, kid. I'll wake you when we're there. All right, fair enough. Sorry to bother you with my friendship. Okay. Yeah, not a whole lot to explore in here. Our lovely little, uh... Residence for this journey. Well, the moment she'd let herself think about it, even realized she was actually exhausted. Tonight alone, she'd seen a ghost run away from home and boarded a ship traveling somewhere deep into the unknown heart of Random. Would she ever return? It didn't matter. Odd was the only thing that mattered. With her sister's name on her lips, even fell into a deep slumber. All right, well, I gotta say, this is great so far. I'm gonna let us get into the new city, and then I'll call it a day for this episode. I'm definitely gonna play more of this, though. This is super fucking cool. Hold on, we're having another dream again. Very few games have captured my interest as much as this opening hour or so. Stay right there. I'm coming. Ethan, I need you. Sit. I'm on my way. Don't move. Ethan, why aren't you coming to help? I'm trying 
My legs are little. Oh, are they okay? Oh god, I thought they had hung themselves. They're just floating. Oh god. I think this game's not rated high, like, like mature enough for that to happen, but I was like, oh god, they've killed themselves. Hello, even. You're home. It's where you belong. Uh, they're like the, uh, like the, it's like the other mother in Coraline. Yeah, what's wrong with everyone? There's no time. No time? No time. A wanna is a wanna. Is a wanna is a wanna. When you're right, you're right. Even. Come stay with us. Do you want some tea? No, I don't want tea. Uh, we need to go see Odd. I think I'm gonna leave them here. Something's wrong. Everything's better with tea. Tea fixes everything, Even. Listen to your mother, Even. Uh, you know what? I think we should get out of here. It's a dangerous world out there. Listen to your mother, Even. Stay here. It's safe here. We'll never leave you again. Not ever. Not ever, Even. Um, I... I am very busy and I gotta go. We'll always be here, Even. You'll always be her, Even. Her desires are odd. It's the only way she'll learn. Go. Even if you're lost. The queen will find you. Okay. Thanks for being very reassuring, Mom and Dad. Alright, which way do you want me to go? Oh, there's something out there. I don't know if I want to go out there yet, to whatever the fuck is out there. Um... I don't want to trigger a cutscene, though, and not have explored everything, so maybe I'll go upstairs first, maybe? Maybe? Oh no, is this the cutscene? No! <laughs> oh, shit! 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 Damn, she's so cool, though! Please! Please! I want to go! I miss my sister! I miss my parents! My I you're safe now. They can't hurt you anymore. H hurt me? No, that's not right. They never... I, I don't think they... They were denying you your future. Robbing you of your true destiny. You're finally home. I'd let her kidnap me, personally, but that's just me. <laughs> Yeah, her design is amazing, though, and the voice acting is really cool. No, 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 no. This whole time ship falling apart. Today's a difficult day for you, Herman. <laughs> Wait! What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Take one of these bad boys! Yeah. You go, Herman. Herman had a backup plan. He said, I'm going to marry Poppins the shit out of this. What happened to the boat? Is the snail thing sinking? Or like, what What occurred? She lost sight of Herman. She realized she'd also lost sight of her last connection to home. Okay, still alive. Uh, I can work with that. As long as I don't land on water, I should be able to work with that. Uh, find time to remember I don't know how to speak. She hoped desperately that she'd land somewhere near Sixtown. But the wind and the fates had very different plans for her, indeed. Ah! Whoa, where is this place? Very cool. All right, let's go through the gate up there, because I want to give, I want to at least tease where we're going next. Um, This doesn't seem like the right way to go. Yeah, no, it's not. All right. Yeah, are we in one of the cities, though, or did we get dropped in some sort of, like, wasteland? And we're not actually all the way there. What the fuck is that? What is happening here? She couldn't yet understand it, but even had landed in the middle of something exceptional. These were the ruins of a time long past, and the magic she could almost sense in the air 
wasn't about to give up its secrets that easily. Interesting. Maybe this is the part where they're going to teach us how the cards actually work. Because from my understanding, part of this game is card-based, but part of it, like some of the cards you play, put you into a little real-time fight you have to do, so... Which seems interesting. I must be the first person to come here in decades. Yeah, please don't come to life either of, uh, not either of you, there's three of you, but none of you. No one come to life. Okay, aha, give me that. Mm, money, 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 money. Well, everyone, it, it was dice to meet you. <laughs> aha. Oh, God. <laughs> Well, that looks ominous and alive. The music's so pretty. I like it so much. Fuck yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Leave me alone, you. You crazy machine. Okay. Oh, I do have a dodge button. Thank God. I'm not your enemy. I'm just me. Oh, are we switching? Are, like, is this dice going to help us now? Oh, we're alive. We're alive. Don't worry, little even. I'm coming. Yeah, go, go, go. <laughs> All right, yo, next your legs. And next here, and you strain a little bit, and next out pops your dick. <laughs> Yeah, come on, we gotta save her. We're so cute, though. I like his animation. His little floppy arms are so cute. All right. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe not. for saving me back there. You were really, oh, well, heroic. Right, <laughs> okay. Talking to a dice. I better get going. You should too. This place is really dangerous. That's your buddy, go pick him up right now. Yeah, that's what I thought, come on little buddy. How dare you leave him there? Um, I mean, I guess you can tag along. Uh, the more the merrier. Okay, Elon, keep it together. We're talking to Nice! Okay. Good fun little team building component. He 
says, my hole, it's made for me. Hey, <laughs> those are mine. You don't just take things from people. <laughs> Ugh, that is a very good point. I guess. Just don't digest them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. What a little cutie. <laughs> yeah, now where the hell are we going? Oh! Watch out, dice. I think these machines are coming alive too. Okay, yeah. How does this work? How does this work? Yep. They're attacking. Okay, if I hit, oh, if I hit like their weak points, it does something to them. Right, yeah, how does this work? I don't know what these cards do! Okay, when throwing dice, you get card tokens equal to the result. They, sh they are shown in the upper right corner of the screen. Okay, got it. Use card tokens to activate your cards. Leave the dice mentioned by attacking something or by pressing Y. It was clear that these were no ordinary cards, and Dicey was no ordinary dice. Something extraordinary was awakening. Okay. Um, the spirit of freedom manifests in the shape of a sword. Press X to hack slash hold X for leave. So, oh, so it gives us like upgrades and stuff, I guess. So, but let's play that one and see what happens. Right? Like... Ow. Wait, how do I attack with this? Oh, there's my attack. I was getting the button wrong. That's on me. Ow. Okay, that's the big attack. Ow, stop it. No, don't come to life. No, one of you was enough. Okay, at least I have a sword, though. That's like helpful. At least. Understand what was happening to her and her new dice friend? But she didn't need to, for there was another, more obvious truth that she understood completely. She was truly an ah ah kicking robot butt. <laughs> okay, so okay, hold on, hold on. I don't have. Oh, I don't have any other attacks, so I need to do another card. Okay, weird. Um, all right, I only get one card to play. I'm gonna get the sword back. All right, this is gonna take me a little bit of time. Oh, the yellow bar must be like the durability of the weapon or something. So when I throw little dicey, that's how many cards I get. Okay, I'm getting it now. It's all coming together. Hiya, hiya. Hiya, 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 hiya. Uh, I kick the robot butt. <laughs> I stab you in the battle. Uh, I got a bomb. Sweet. Someone a bomb. Shoot or hit it to activate. And then take cover. Uh, seems helpful. More cards? Oh, I wonder what these do. Listen, we're an incredible team. And as long as I'm going to be talking to you, I should probably know your name. <laughs> Uh-huh, right. <laughs> well, how about if I just call you Dicey? <laughs> Perfect. Well, <laughs> let's see if we can find a way out of this place, Dicey. Yeah, come on, Dicey. You little cutie patootie. The hell are those? Defeat the pawns. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! In this long forgotten world even had just become interesting. And that was seldom good. Okay, hold on, how do I throw dicey? Wait, 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 wait. Dicey, over here. How, how? He just runs around. That is not helpful, Dicey. Just say. 
I, wh what am I? What am I doing wrong here? Okay, I can hit the top of their heads. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I oh, that's why I need to get the gems to be able to get to. Oh, 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 duh. It's taking me a second to get this because the mechanics are very weird compared to most games. But I need to be able to get the dice to be able to unlock more cards. That's why. Full hand. Okay. Now I can use him to unlock cards. Ah ha ha. Let's try this bomb. I'm really curious. Um, do I not have enough stuff? Oh, I only rolled a one though, so I could play. Okay. I'm getting it now. I keep saying that over and over, but um resource health. Okay, yeah, give me that. We're moving as one. An unstoppable fighting machine. Gotcha. And then when you defeat them, you unlock more cards. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, when you, when even is about to get hit, for uh, press B to perform a blink dodge. Blink dodging through adversaries releases their crystals. Oh, let's try that. Oh. So that way, even if you don't have a weapon, you can dodge your way into getting more of the currency to be able to get more cards. Cool, cool. I'm getting it now. Come here, you little bitch. Nice. Oh, there's more of you. What the fuck? All right, hold on. Give me something new. Give me a, let me throw a bomb. Uh, he rolled, all right, lucky draw. An unpredictable yet sometimes generous dice mention hands out one card token to even. So, it's that. The spirit of one craft transforms the slingshot to the shape of a bow and ten arrows. Let's try that. Whoa, what in the... You can do that. There we go. Is that all of them? Yeah, all right. Currency to spend in Manny, Manny Dex's card store. Okay, so the currency, the, okay, I get it. So the coins are R for building a better deck. And then the little gems. I'd be having a headache too. Right, well, um, we'll have to talk more later. But for now, let's just focus on surviving, yeah? But okay, and the little blue gems are just, you spend them just in combat to get more cards. Very cool. It's, yeah, it's a very weird combat system, but honestly, it's funny. I think so many types of combat in video games can become so, just feel like they're so copy and paste. So just to have a new kind of combat system is kind of fun. What? Oh, are you alive? Is this your dad? This is my child. Yeah, cool. Another, yeah, let's say, um, hello? Oh, no need to be rude. Um, okay, you're definitely alive. Uh, what's up here? What's with the other dice here? Are the other dice here asleep or are they dead? They're waiting for their own dice wielder. All right, let's see. Let's calm down. What is this place? I'm ouch. Good day to you too, jerk. Let's let's be. We're very very bitchy with some of these dialogue options for no good reason. All right, you've gone decades without seeing anyone like me. You won't move until the right dice dice wielder comes. Good luck finding your dice wielder, Mister Dice Person. Yeah, let's ask about him. I guess I'm a dice wielder now. Can I help? <laughs> All right, I get it. I'm not the one. Yeah, I may not be your dice wielder, but maybe I can offer some assistance. <laughs> well, I hope that one day someone will come for you too. Yeah, let's do that. Let's be encouraging. He's been through a lot. Um, I think we could both use some good luck right now. Yep, that's true.
Ooh. Also, hi. Let's see. I spotted this mid-conversation. Don't want to miss that. I didn't see any others, though. So, all right. Let's see. Where Where is this taking us? Is this more battle? It looks like more battles. So you know what? I This is all the time I have for today for this episode. So, um, I'm having... Oh, hold on, hold on. I have time for that, though. <laughs> um, This is really cool. I'm curious what you guys think. If any of you have ever heard of this game before, because I didn't know a damn thing about it if any of you have played it. I mean, if not, then cool. Maybe this will be a fun thing you've never heard of. That'll be a fun, fresh experience for all of us to play together. So, um, but I'm I'm thrilled at this. I don't think the game's uh, especially long either. So I feel like it's one that I can actually get through pretty straight straight through, you know, and actually complete the whole thing. Because it's one of the few games that actually has you know lured me in enough that I actually want to complete it. I want to know what each of the cities look like. I want to know what the style is. I want to meet more characters. I want to see more stuff about the queen because she's super cool. You know collect more of the storybook pages it's just it feels like a really well crafted little fantasy experience and it really seems to pride like i think because i think too i think a lot of games focus on gameplay first and and it's a tough thing because you have to know what kind of game are you trying to make if you're making a game that is all about the gameplay like you know you think of like a game like like the you know like from soft games like those are let's be real those are gameplay first people like the stories and love to delve into all the kind of very vague story hints, you know, and have people piece them together and get a sense of what's happening. But underneath all of that, it's the gameplay, it's the boss, it's the mechanics, it's the rhythm of it. And this is the opposite. This is not so much about that as much as it's about the exploration and the characters and the weirdness of this world and getting to delve into it. So that's what is intriguing me the most. And it's doing a great, great job setting that up especially in this first hour or so. I think it really, really sells it. So anyway, I'll be back soon. And thank you all so much for watching and listening. My name is Dominic, and I will see you next time. Bye.